Hey everyone, welcome to the tutorial of C bond. And in this tutorial of C bond, we will learn about heat maps. Uh, now, C bond is another uh, data visualization library which helps us in visualizing our data uh, apart from Matplotlib. And uh, it has an additional feature of preloaded data and built in data sets. So, let's get started and import our C bond package as SNS. Okay, and let's load our flight data set. load data set and it has already built in flight let's see our data set so here it is as you can see we have three columns year month and passengers so this is the data about flights and uh, the number of passengers traveling so we want to pivot this data table so that it becomes much easier so let's pivot it so that it becomes much nice to see light dot pivot and we want our first column to be month then we have year and then we have passengers okay so let's have a look at our data set now now you can see it has generated a very fine table in which one column it has uh, all the months and in one frame it is showing the years and this value these values are the number of passengers so now the role of heat maps comes in now let's plot these values in a heat map so how do you invoke heat map let's say sns dot heat map and you pass in the name of the data set which you want to map so here is our heat map now the significance of this heat map is as you can see in the months of July and August in the year of 1960 and 1959 this is a light shaded value uh, else they are, all are dark shaded so a light shaded value as you can see on this scale is ranging up to 600 that means is implying that these are the values which are having a high number of passengers so let's check from our table in the months of june and july 1950 and 1960 1960 and 1959 in the months of june and july here you can see the numbers are greater as ever so this is the significance of heat map. Now it has various parameters to make uh, your task a bit easy. As you can say dot heat map and you know name of the live data set. And if you want a line width equal to say 0.7. So it has segregated different columns it looks much nicer you can always change these values if you want if you want a much greater you can go for two this is much clearer but i'll prefer 0 0.8 okay so this is about your line width but uh, wouldn't it be nicer if you can have the values of the number of the passengers written on these 
particular cells rather than you can uh, see them much easily while going to the table and again and again checking whether it is true or not so let's say that sns dot heat map of light with line width of 0.8 and we want the values or the number of passengers as well so we have the argument of annotation which we want to put it as true now another thing which comes with that is the format of the string so format we want them as an integer value and not as string. So we pass fmt equal to in bracket d that is the notation for integer. So here it is friends we have the number of passengers as well specified on these uh, cells. As you can see the maximum it has is 622 passengers in the month of July okay now one more thing you can do is uh, if you want to change the shade of this particular heat map you can say that c map there is an argument c map and you want a combination of red and blue color so let's see now this looks much oriented like this color bar follows the rule of the darker the version the greater the number of values and the lighter the version the lesser the number of passengers now as you can see the darker the blue is the more the number of passengers are traveling and lighter shade are less and the darker the red even the least number of passengers are traveling so this shade looks good uh, now uh, one more thing if you don't want to include this color bar or the parameter to compare it with you are uh, free to remove it let's say that you want to remove the color bar or the this color bar parameter so it's at c bar equal to false you want to remove it so here it is a nice heat map with clear depiction of the number of passengers that has traveled along over the years so this was the part one of heat map i'll be continuing with the part two as well so for the time being let's keep it short and if you have any query please feel free to comment okay see you on part two